It's slang for nice hat. Anytime, Sarge. Oh, hi. I'm Ali Javanak, Medical Director here at UCSB Student Health, and welcome to another edition of The Doc Is In Video. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and the good people at CARE want you to remember three things. Use your voice, believe survivors, and change the culture. Before we get into that, I think it's good to clarify what consent means. Consent is conscious, affirmative, and ongoing. If you're playing tennis with someone and you don't hit the ball back, they don't want to play tennis. Even if they don't say, I don't want to play tennis or storm off the court, the fact that they're not hitting the ball back means they're not giving consent to play tennis. If the other person's unconscious, they're not aware enough to give consent to play tennis. You should also call 911. If someone's under the influence of alcohol and drugs to the point where they can't hold a racket or swing at a ball, they're not conscious enough to give consent. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the three points that CARE wants us to remember. One, use your voice. If sexual assault is being trivialized or joked about in casual conversation, online, social media, movies, song, there's an opportunity to speak out. And by expressing your voice in support of consensual sexual acts, that helps to change the conversation. Number two, believe survivors. This may seem like a no-brainer, but what happens is sexual assault is such a traumatic experience that survivors find themselves unable to move or speak while it's happening. Afterwards, some survivors are left with a lot of guilt and questions as to why didn't they do something? Why didn't they move or resist? Not realizing that they were actually physically unable to do so. And their social support can sometimes have those same questions and wonders as to why didn't they physically resist or call out for help, again not realizing that the survivor at the time was physically unable to do so. So believing survivors is really powerful and a very strong way to help the survivor cope and move on. Number three, change the culture. The vast majority of UCSB students want a campus on Isla Vista community with a sexual assault rate of zero. And by their everyday actions and words and interactions, they shape the culture. That's what the culture is. And so by your contribution in support of consensual sexual activity, you can change that culture. For more information, visit the CARE website at wgse.sa.ucsb.edu. That's all for now. See you next time.